Fallout is having a moment, let's say. With the Amazon Prime show out, which I'm currently watching, a lot of people, like myself, are feeling the urge for that post-apocalyptic Americana goodness. Now, thanks to PS Plus Premium and Extra, you can play Fallout 3, you can play Fallout New Vegas, you can play Fallout 4, but of course, out of all of them, I have decided to check out Fallout 76, a game that I always liked the sound of, but never actually tried out. But is this long ridiculed multiplayer experience actually worth your time? Well, I've been playing it across the last week to answer that very question. Fallout 76 launched in 2018, with Todd Howard supposedly pitching the game as Fallout with Friends. This is a live service online offering where players will explore the post-apocalyptic West Virginia, meeting NPCs, taking on quests, and of course, looting up everything they can get their hands on. From the start, it feels like a pretty traditional Fallout experience, but it wasn't always this way. Supposedly, although I'd never played the game myself back then, Fallout 76 launched with no NPCs at all. The idea was that actual players would populate the leafy plains, and while I kinda get the sentiment, considering how populated my opening hours were with NPCs, I genuinely find it hard to even imagine the game without them. Regardless, I awaken in Vault 76, the last of the Vault Dwellers, to head to the great outdoors on Reclamation Day. I have no idea why I'm the last one, maybe I hit the snooze button too hard. I couldn't really be bothered with the handmaking of a character, but of course slapped on my standard Ezekiel name tag. I name all of my RPG characters this, and imagine a millennia spanning, genre hopping lineage of deadly Ezekiels, most of which I tend to base off the looks of Tom Cruise in Michael Mann's 2004 classic Collateral for some reason. Anyway, I digress. I get outside the vault, level skip to level 20, meet some survivors who blab about treasure and tell me to head to the local pub called The Waywards. Once there, I meet the owner of the establishment and a ghoul called Mort who is convincing absolutely no one with that wig of his. I'm tasked with making a big sign to draw out some treasure hunter gang that keeps harassing the pub to find out where they're based and go and kill their gang leader. At this point I'm joined by some mates and somehow end up in his game or his quest, I wasn't quite sure how it all happened. Oh shit! But we carried out some optional objectives, gathering a death claw egg so we could go invisible with a stealth boy and speaking to a farmer who gave us the passcode for the base before eventually getting there, being invisible for like 10 seconds and blasting our way through to the gang leader anyway. I have never been a huge fan of the gunplay in Fallout games but I did actually have some fun here with my mates. Now, the guns themselves do have a nice heft to them, but it wasn't so much the combat I was enjoying, more just wandering around, listening to the Appalachian radio oh, with go. my friends. Ooh. There's something kind of chill about it, and we were having a laugh in the process, which is, you know, it's the point of that, isn't it? We also came across a nice player who had a really cool base. They gave us a gun that even as I'm recording, I still can't use. The next day, I decided to give the game a go myself, and was immediately told that I needed to kill the gang leader that I'd already killed the day before. So I went back to the base, knowing the password to gain any and decided to walk in to negotiate. I told the dude to leave the bar alone and that I would find some treasure for him, but I felt he was being a wee bit too cheeky, so I blew his head off and fought my way out of the base. This, to me, felt like peak fallout. Some negotiation gone awry and then I was blasting my way through some awesome, albeit weak weaponry, to some iconic 50s music. I got back to the bar, told the lady she was all good, who then offered me another quest, but at this point I was I was kind of bored of all of this and more in his stupid wig. I would remembered seeing an antenna way out in the distance and decided that I would abandon all of my current quests and just go for a walk. During my travels I came across a town filled with scorched people, fought a bunch of mutants on a cliffside, found some power armor, contracted dysentery, and eventually when I reached the big antenna I got embroiled in another quest. There wasn't anything especially wrong with this experience, I was acting enjoying myself, although it did feel a little empty without, you know, catered storylines and without my friends at this point. Whenever I came across a raider or settlement folk, they just walked by or attacked me. There wasn't anything to discuss and whenever a new building caught my eye, most of the time all there ever was was a wee bit of loot and maybe a bench to craft up something. On my next quest to find some parts, a friend joined me once more and we stumbled across an event. Now, I was really, really excited for this because for some reason I had imagined a Destiny-like event where there was a bunch of other survivors or vault dwellers and we were fighting some big boss. But what it amounted to was a factory filled with 
mole mine people and a bunch of pipes to repair it took us ages to figure out where we were going or what was to be repaired and there was little dots that kept telling us to go outside then inside then outside then inside it was very confusing and eventually when we completed the task it gave us some caps and sent us on our way we kind of awkwardly shrugged our shoulders and moved on to the next thing having wasted about 40 minutes on this thing. So at this point, I'm becoming a little irritated by the game itself, but also a little bit by the over encumbered status that I am constantly hitting. Now I know it's a big part of RPGs like this, but it's tedious man and I kinda hate it. So I put some points to counter this and eventually figured out the whole card deck system, realizing as well that most of my weapons were just, they were wrecked. Eventually though, I did complete the task of go here and get that, then go there and get that, then go there and interact with that and then come back and I ended up talking to an NPC robot but for the next quest it seemed, it took a minute for the game before it registered that my current quest had actually been completed. I think I've just went in to a different quest with the same person. Oh wait, okay. So the group morale was pretty low at this point and we called it a day, deciding to return it at a later time. My next adventure to Appalachia, my friend and I decided to make the trek to another high level player's base in the hope that they would take on the good Samaritan role and give us some good loot. I was dying for some new armour. We got there and were rather rudely turned away but we did take a moment to try to peek into the awesome base and admire their powered armour. Some loyal long time players are truly decked out in this game and it's cool to see how customizable these bases can be. Walking away empty handed though we stumbled across a ruined city in a quest to investigate the HQ of an old company. My mate unceremoniously bailed and left me to take out a building full of enemies and I got to work in the quest. This was actively I'd say a turning point for me as I started thumbing through old computer files and figuring out how to gain access to the executive levels. Learning the lore of a company under revolt for leaning into an automated workforce, it added history and context to the building and walking away with an enormous amount of loot and some caps in my pocket, I, I felt fulfilled, it felt like follow, it felt like I'd learned something about the world and it sparked that little adventure in me where I wanted to explore more places like this. But of course with that damn over encumbered status I decided I really needed somewhere to call home because at this point I just abandoned the base building factor. After accidentally stumbling through a super mutant camp I found this little cliff's edge overlooking the West Virginian countryside. I thought it would be perfect and I know a lot of experienced players will probably tell me that you don't build on a slope, it's a bad idea and I know that now but I'm learning here man. But anyway at this point I'm realising that I have no plans to actually build stuff and I'm getting kind of fed up with my vault tech suit as well so being the lazy person that I am I take a look at Fallout first. Now this is the subscription model for Fallout 76. Players pay a monthly fee and will receive atoms every month, the premium currency which they can spend on the store, exclusive private worlds, there's a premium battle pass to work through and there's some free gear, icons etc etc that you get with this subscription. I bought a month's worth and used it to give myself the ghoul's tattered coat and hat from the show and looking through the season pass I felt that you know that monkey brain itch of mine to just level up and get it all. Annoyingly though, I felt like it didn't offer me a whole lot of stuff. Certainly it gave me the atoms to buy a Brotherhood of Steel material wall pack so that I could actually build my base, but I'm not gonna lie, I felt very limited when choosing material types and designs. Obviously, I've not unlocked a lot of them as someone still fairly early into the game, but so many of them were locked to the store. That being said, when I finished my little bungalow thing on the cliff's edge, I, I felt pretty satisfied even though the place paled in comparison to the rude neighbours I'd come across before. I even made myself a wee porch so I could look out to the countryside and listen to the radio. At this point I really felt the urge to make a name for myself, to, to go out and forge a reputation, to find the best armour, the best gear, the best plans so that I could make my house even nicer. I felt that itch in me even just as I sat and looked out at the countryside. So now we come to today and I'm feeling a little torn when it comes to answering that big question. I had quite a bit of fun exploring the wasteland with my friends, I even enjoyed the combat, I liked the lore drenched settings that I found here or there, I even really liked the levelling up aspect, I know I'm a fiend for stuff like that but it worked for me 
and I obviously found it immensely satisfying building my first little base. The problem is most if not all of that bar playing with your friends can be done in Fallout 4 and that game counters the emptiness I feel like this one is besotted with. In Fallout 4 every character, every setting, every story is integral to that world and it was there from the start and you can tell that whereas with Fallout 76 despite Bethesda's best efforts you can feel, you can sense that all of the players, all of the characters, all of the stories that have been added have been added afterwards. They aren't really soaked into the bones of the West Virginian setting. Whether it's worth it may depend on your experience with the franchise. So for example myself, I've only ever played a dozen hours of Fallout 4, so now I feel the urge to leave 76 behind and start Fallout 4. Maybe you've played Fallout 4, maybe you've played the series to death and you'd like something new, something different to try out because in many ways this does exactly what it sets out to do. It is Fallout with friends, it's not perfect, but it does manage to retrofit that Fallout experience into a multiplayer game, warts and all. When this game first came out I liked the sound of it but everyone said it was pretty terrible and of course the it's good now crowd have been about for maybe a couple of years maybe more than that and I've always felt the urge to get back into it and I'm actually glad that I did. While I want to play Fallout 4 now I don't think I'm entirely done with Fallout 76. I'd like to play more of this, I'd like to have a big base that eventually other people are coming up to and I'm shutting the door in their face and telling them to get lost. So is it worth playing? Yeah, I, th I think it is. Thank you for checking out the video, remember to like and subscribe for more PlayStation video content just like this and if you are also playing other Fallout games, comment down below, let me know about that. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching and until next time, I've been Aiden and this has been Push Square.